Okay, so this is one of my favorite things to do, make things glow. So let's start out with our canvas. This is 3000 by 3000 pixels, 300 DPI. Doesn't matter what size canvas you start with, whatever you like. First things first, change the background so it's a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go to my uh, uh, layers here, background, and I'm just gonna lower this uh, to about there. Feel free to change the base color to whatever you want. But this is good. This is good for me. So we have our dark background. That's going to make it easier for us to kind of see the atmosphere and it'll make the glow look nicer. Okay, so what we want to do next is um, we'll just choose white for now. And the brush I'm using is Butterblade. Uh, but you can use any brush that's similar. It's just a regular uh, hard brush. So, and then I'm going to do a shape. I'm doing, I'll do that again. Okay, so that's pretty good. And the reason why I do my, my shape like this is I like to do sort of like flying kind of objects, like with, with wings. But I like to, I like to make it so one of the wings is sort of flatter. So it's almost like, uh, you know, like with a, with a, what are they called? With a butterfly. The wings aren't always, they're not always um, like this. Like they're not always kind of like that. Like you're not going to see them. If, if, they're, if you're, they're flying, then you'll see them on a different perspective. So, but you can do any shape. Let's do, I'm going to make a new layer and let's do some other shapes. We'll just do another one here. And then we'll do another one on a new layer. We'll do another one here. And I'll make that one a little bit smaller. Okay, so we have our shapes here. Uh, the next thing we want to do is just duplicate these. So I'm just going to duplicate all of them by left swiping on the layer and duplicate, duplicate. And now we can change the color of these. I think I'm going to use like a pale Maybe like a pale pink for this one. Oops. Which one is this? Oh, that's that. So let me start with the one in the front. Okay. So anyway, just so we can not make that mistake again. So here are my two uh, color layers. And I'm going to color the bottom one. So I'm just dragging a color over to the bottom one. And here's the white one on top. So do the same thing with the other two. Right now I have the bottom ones chosen. So let's see if I want, oh, we'll do a different color. We'll do like a pale sort of teal color. Which one is this? Okay, so let me drag the color over there. Same thing on this one. Just choose whatever the bottom uh, duplicate is. And how about we do, that's a nice color. Kind of like a, a firefly color. Okay, so we have all of our colors here. And they look really nice so far. So now just open up your white layers. So the reason why we have two layers is because the color is going to come, the color is going to emit from the white. The white is always going to be the lightest part of your glow. So uh, it doesn't always have to be like extremely white. Like it, it can just be lighter than the underlying color. But for this, to keep it simple, we'll just keep this white. So now that we have this layer underneath, we can start with the uh, pink one. And I believe that's the bigger one. So we're gonna start with the pink one. Just make sure you're on that layer, the layer underneath. Adjustments, Gaussian blur, layer. And then just slide this out some. So the first time I do use the Gaussian blur, I don't, um, I don't do more than like 10% because I really want it to be that difference right when it comes off of the, the rim of the white. So what I usually do is I duplicate that and I take the very bottom one, I go back to adjustments, back to Gaussian blur, layer, and then I make that one a little bigger. And now just do the same things with the other layers. 
So we'll start with, which one is this? We'll start with this nice teal blue. And I'm on the bottom layer here. Adjustments, Gaussian blur, layer. So we'll slide it up until about, and that's good. Seven's good for this one. Duplicate what we just blurred. Take the bottom one. And then we'll do Gaussian blur again and just blur it a lot more. And then we'll do the same thing with the top. Gaussian blur. Duplicate. Gaussian blur. Then we'll blur it a lot more. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And I'll even make the background a little darker. It's nice. Okay, so it looks great. Uh, you can pretty much see these things look like they're glowing. There is a few other things that you could do to sort of like play around with it to see if it to see if it's going to work. I'm just going to go ahead and merge these blurs um, so they're one. So you could always blur the white a little bit, like I did here. That also looks pretty good. So you can even either have it sharp, or you can have it blurred a little bit. Another thing that you can do is you can use your eraser and just use a soft airbrush. And you can erase around the edges. Oops. And then you can erase around the edges a little bit. And just lightly erase all along the edge. You can also do something like that, so it's a little more, um, it's a little more subtle. It's not like a super bright white, but it's still glowing. So that's an option too. And then last but not least, let me back up to where, yeah, I like it like that. And last but not least, um, I'm just going to make a new layer underneath. So I'm just going to add some little extras on a new layer underneath. I'm going to go back to this uh, pink color. I'll even make it a bit darker. And then, um, again, I'm using uh, my faves brushes. But this is the stubble brush. I think it's in, um, uh, what is it in? Touch-ups? I think it's in touch-ups. But this is a stubble brush. I love the stubble brush. It just, and I like to do some, just some nice details around like that. You can even do some noise brush. The noise brush also gives some nice atmosphere. And then you can also use the light pen. So that's in uh, luminosity. Is it luminosity? Luminance? Luminance. Um, but I have, I have them all in my faves because I use them all the time. I'm just going to make this a little pinker, a little, a little lighter. So use the light pen. And then you can make little pops. Make it a little brighter. And I'm actually going to do this on the white layer. So it almost looks like there's like just some things in the atmosphere. Get rid of those and make this make them a little smaller. Just like dust particles. So I'm going to quickly do the same thing to the other colors.
Okay, so now I'm just going to merge them all together. And if I want, I can do a motion blur. If I wanted to really make like these are moving, I'll just use a motion blur. Motion blur is really fun. Something like that. Maybe I'll lower the opacity of the one further back. But you can just play around with it. But that's pretty much all there is to making things glow. Make the background a little darker. But this is one of my favorite things to do. It just even if you do an image and you just have some some lightning bugs or something in the background, it just gives it a whole nother sense of 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 depth, of luminance. Uh, it just makes it really pretty. So just practice. You can do hearts. You can do your name. Um, you can do them the same ways and also experiment with different ways and different ways to make things glow, adding maybe multiple colors. Um, I feel like I just need to add a little more glow underneath. Let me make sure that I'm exposed the right way on the phone. So I just made a new layer underneath and I was looking in the, in the camera and I just feel like it wasn't bright enough. So I'm going to take my airbrush i'm using the same kind of pinkish color and i'm just gonna airbrush airbrush that a little more i'm gonna do the same thing with the other colors so i'm just using airbrush behind these guys That looks a little bit better on camera. So, uh, yeah, as always, keep drawing, keep editing, keep fixing, keep working, keep practicing, keep making things glow, keep being great artists, keep being students of the game, keep striving to get better and better and make things work and figure out problems because problem solving is all art is. All right. See you guys in the next one.